Yeah. For the dogs, them, you know? Good morning guys, what's up? It's your boy Christian here back at you with a brand new vlog. It is like Friday morning. We're waking up and we grinding. I'm not even gonna have breakfast before this first photo shoot. I have to do this little shoot for Puma today and I gotta hire my sister, my photographer, to take these photos before she goes to class. So I'm like, oh, I just woke up, I just had a shower. Literally still feel like a zombie right now. Check it out, it's starting to snow now in Canada. This is the first snowfall of the 2017-2018 fall winter season. I'm, so, I'm, I'm really sad about this, to be honest. Oh my gosh, that was really, really cold. Holy cow, we're done the shoot. I got bad news though. All the pictures we took was with really crappy lighting. Every photo has this like really bad blue tint. This sucks, all right, I might have to get my mom to shoot. I like this photo. But it's a, it looks a little bit out of focus, which is what I'm worried about. Six minutes or so of editing and messing around. I edited this one here, and uh, I'm happy with how the lighting ended up becoming. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Oh, you're cold. You're cold. How are you this fine morning, huh? Rice and eggs today for breakfast. Bye, Mom. Just leaving the house now and oh my gosh, it is so cold. Today is probably the last day I'm gonna get to wear this bomber jacket because it's pretty light, it's not very warm. So we're gonna have to start wearing the winter jacket. Sweaters on sweaters on sweaters and thick socks. Let me know if you guys like winter. But winter, not my favorite season. Definitely not my favorite season. But in the comments down below, let me know what your favorite season is. Mine, gotta be fall and then summer. I wish death upon my enemies, never let them breathe. I got homicidal tendencies, trigger squeeze, blast into they feeling me. Make them turn into a- Just got back home, was at school all day long, working on the assignment. Got some mail, got some mail from Amazon, Amazon Prime Gang, you know we out here. We didn't do too much vlogging outside today, so we're gonna turn this into like an unboxing haul kind of vlog. So I'm gonna eat some dinner. I'll show you guys what I picked up right after. And then uh, you guys will see some new sneakers I picked up as well recently and this $450 item, because this, this is huge for the channel. So we are back in my bedroom. As you guys can tell, I got four pairs of Adidas to share with you guys, and I got a new $400 plus pickup that's gonna help benefit the channel, and something for my little Overwatch addiction. I apologize for the poor lighting. It's like 6, 7 p.m. right now. Uh, the, the lighting, the lighting's really bad. We're gonna, we're gonna fix it in the future. Just be on the lookout, but yeah, let's get to the sneakers because that's what you're here for. First up, we have an Adidas classic in this box right here. All-time classic. Some of you guys might have these sneakers in the collection. It's not heat by any means, but the plug came through, so let me pop open this lid. And then, ooh, that smells good too. That smells good. Let me pop open that lid and show you guys what we got in store. These right here are the Adidas Gazelle in this red colorway. Classic, classic silhouette. You cannot go wrong with this old school model right here. This is gonna be something I'm gonna wear a lot in the spring. Maybe not so much in the fall and winter anymore, but this is definitely a go-to like sneaker you can have in your collection and wear it very often. Similar vibes to like a Stan Smith or a Superstar. These have been around for a long, long time, and I think the Gazelle was making a comeback last year, and they pumped out a bunch more colorways this year as well. So yeah, first pickup is the Adidas Gazelle on feet coming up. to the second Adidas sneaker. I don't have too many sneakers of this colorway in my rotation, in my collection, so I figure, you know, let's diversify a little bit and pick these up. So we have another, again, blue Adidas box, obviously. We'll pop open the lid. You guys might have peeped these earlier on my Instagram, at SneakerTalkCA. Follow your boy, spam me with some likes, and I'll check out your account. We have the blue, the blue Adidas EQT Support Advance, and these things are fire. These really, like, Contrast with the yellow Puma sweater I'm wearing right now, but the EQT support advance in this blue colorway 
really dope. And in the past, I had problems with like the ankle, the collar area being really stiff. I don't have that problem anymore, which is good. So EQT Support Advanced, there's a bunch of colorways of this sneaker available on sale too. So I will leave links to all these sneakers I am showing you guys in the description down below if you guys want to check them out. But this right here, the blue colorway recently came out. They have some really sick colorways, honestly. They have like this dope beige and black one. I'll throw it up on screen. It might even be on sale right now. So EQT Support Advanced on feet coming up. Next up is an Adidas sneaker I've been wanting to review for a while now. I know it's become quite a popular non-Boost running shoe, and I know not everyone wants to buy Boost. I mean, a lot of people want to buy Boost, but not everybody can afford Boost because Boost sneakers do get pretty high up there considering the technology. So these sneakers right here use some of Adidas's other latest technology, Prime Knit. I mean, it's been out for a few years now, but it's like their, their main, their go-to high quality knit material. So these right here are the Adidas Swift Run PK. These have that prime knit upper. Sort of has like this multi knit upper kind of vibe. You guys can see with the uh, with the different the different little colors they have here. The lighting is so bad. I'm so sorry. Let's honestly just do the rest of the unboxing right now like this. So here we have the Adidas Swift Run PK in this black and multi knit colorway. These things are dope. No boost needed, but they're still very, very comfortable sneakers. I've seen quite a few people on campus rock these shoes, so I know it's something you guys might be interested in. These don't have any hype by any means. It's just a solid GR sneaker. So a review on these coming soon and on feet coming up next. How are we gonna make it through so right? What's up, Jazai? Just do what you got All right. to do. Yeah. Oh wow, oh wow, I'm killing this side. You still in my mind. Distractions are killing my vibe and not the magazine. My Next up, we have another blue Adidas box. As you can tell, this here is an Adidas superstar. However, it's not your typical superstar right there. You guys can see it. You guys can see it. We got some boost on that midsole. Some juicy, juicy boosty. Boosty, I was gonna say booty. Some juicy boost, and here's a look at the upper. It's in this dark gray with the black stripes. It's like a dark charcoal gray. We got the gold trefoil branding on the tongue right there. Overall, really clean looking sneaker. Sort of gives off these neighborhood vibes. This is actually one of the best superstar colorways I think that they can make. Like this is such a clean, clean colorway. Very, very happy with these. And you got the boost there too. So it's gonna be very, very comfortable. I'll have a review on these on the channel too. So make sure you guys subscribe if you do want to see a full in-depth review of these Adidas sneakers as well. The Superstar with Boost. Really clean colorway. On feet, coming up next. Rhythm in lines and nines bust like ten at a time. But he's from cop hands. Heads popping open like cop chairs. Televised to entertain to thank us off for watching. We click, shared, and clock in. Just to chase a dollar or a dream. There's no in between. This next pickup is not a sneaker, but it's actually something I'm really, really crazy about. It's an Overwatch comic book. This is the Overwatch Anthology. Anthology. Anthology Volume 1. Usually it was like priced at $26.99 and I got it on sale on Amazon Prime for like $17 free shipping. So this is sick. If you want to learn more about the Overwatch characters and their backstories, this is like the comic book you got to get. It's really sick. It's a hardcover comic. It's made by Dark Horse Books, which you guys probably know is a very well known comic book like franchise or like printing company. I, I don't know what the right term is, but it's a really good publisher. Yes, I think that's the term. If you're an Overwatch fan like myself, I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can cop. This is dope. I'm going to have like some fun reading this when I go to New York. I'll just bring this with me on the airplane and I'll get to learn a bunch of uh, stuff about the Overwatch characters. So I'm really excited to read this. I'm really, really excited to read this. Now we can get to the very, very last pickup, dude. This thing was pretty expensive. I ended up paying, I think it was $420 Canadian. And it's gonna help the channel out. I've been having some issues with my old microphone. I just sort of gave it away. Old microphone on my new like $2,000 camera, the A6500. The audio starts peaking for the first 15 seconds after you hit record, which is really annoying, especially if you're a vlogger where you just wanna hit record and start talking and start recording audio and video. So it messes up the audio for the first 20 seconds of every single clip, which is really, really bad. So I think it was a microphone issue, not the camera issue. So hopefully it was a microphone issue, but anyway, 
is I did see these online and I know it's gotten some really good reviews. So I got the Video Mic Pro Plus. And this microphone is like $420. It's Rode's latest new microphone. It's really good because it turns on when your camera turns on. So you don't have to turn it on after you turn on your camera, which is insanely, insanely dope for vlogging because you just want to be able to turn on your camera and then hit record. Now I will never ever have to worry about forgetting to turn the microphone on and not getting the audio. So really excited and the audio is going to be better. The audio is going to be crispier and cleaner for the future of vlogs. So I'm really hyped. I'm all about investing back into the channel. You guys might be wondering why I'm not wasting money buying a car and all that kind of stuff. And that's because I'm reinvesting it into the channel with things like this. And don't get me wrong, all those sneakers, I have a plug fam, I have a plug. So don't tell me I'm wasting all my money on sneakers either because I also buy sneakers as well. Like a lot of these sneakers I buy guys and I buy them to review for you guys. And in turn, that's just making content for the channel which of course generates revenue for myself. So I'm all about reinvesting back into the channel. So thank you guys so much for watching. I would not be able to buy really cool equipment and upgrade my channel when it comes to these kind of things if it weren't for you guys watching and supporting the channel. So thank you so much. Please smash that thumbs up button down below and get ready for the New York City vlogs because they come in they come in really really soon so yeah see you guys in the next video thanks for watching and do me a favor watch one more of my vlogs that would mean the world to me it's all I ask just watch one more video of mine another vlog a Japan vlog maybe I love making vlogs and I love it when you guys watch them so yeah thanks for watching again guys and I'll catch you in the next video peace